Joining university is a dream come true for every student so as to pursue their dream course as a first step towards their chosen career path. However, to pursue their passion and supplement the little money from their gardens has often led to the birth of various small businesses around Mo University campus. This has interestingly seen some of the students remain at the university even after completing their studies so as to continue running their successful small businesses as they are guaranteed source of income as compared to those who go out into the world to tarmac for jobs. We follow up with the various students doing business at stage market while studying at the university to give us an insight of the day-to-day -day life of the university hustle. My name is Joseph Mwangi. I'm a fourth year student at Moi University. We are not afraid of studying you French. And I do apart from studying, I do also own a business, a fruit business here at stage. And I don't do this alone. I have a lady who I do it with her. She's called Penina Wanjiro. She's also, she's also a fourth year student. Yeah. When did you begin your business? I we opened our business in 20, the year 2019 on May fourth. We were in second year. Yeah. Yeah. Two point two. Two point two. Yeah, to be exact. I thought I saw you here longer. <laughs> no, <laughs> does in two point two. Yeah, 2019. Yeah. How did you raise your capital? How did you come up with it? But only raise your capital. Okay, we we used our help, help money we offered. We took a put a a small piece of land, took a jenga. Then for the remainder of the help, yeah. we used it to to purchase our first stock. Yeah, and then we started to grow. Yeah. Uh, you said this place is called Uvile. Have I said it right? Yeah, Uvile. How did you come up with the name? It's a beautiful name. Okay. Thank you. Okay, we named it the name Uvile from, you see, it's a two word. We took the university and then cut the U out. Then the U, Ville French, as I said, I'm a French major. Yeah. So I took it, the Ville, as a town. Yes. So it's a fruit shop, a uh, fruit town. Nice. So students stick around Mo University even after graduating to keep on doing their business. So we visited Fotomoto to get a similar story. Good evening. Good evening. So maybe tell us your name, the year you graduated and the course you pursued. Okay, my name is Victor Mudui. I graduated, I graduated in 2021. Um, in Mo University I was doing a I was doing a bachelor's degree in automotive technology. So the studio is known as Photomoto. Mm. So how did you come up with the name? And tell us about Photomoto. Photomoto started uh, last year, that is 2021. Yeah. Uh, August. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was actually an empty room when I started. Mm -hmm. uh, about the name. Yeah. Just, I just thought of the kind of work that I need to do and I imagine that I will be doing hot photos. Yeah. Yeah, photomotor is, is a translation of that. Yeah. So I, I took the name and used it as my brand name. And you are doing really good. So how did you raise the capital then and even after school? Okay, during my school time, I used to do other things, I used to sell goods, I used to cook chapati, oh. and so through that I could raise money, then save the pocket my parents were giving me for the business, yeah. Still on the hand, this is our third business for today, uh, maybe tell us your name and what, what course you take. Okay, first of all, thank you so much for the opportunity. My name is Boni Gashora and I'm a fifth year student at the School of Engineering. I'm taking the Bachelor of Engineering in Mechanical Production and Energy. Yeah.
what does your business involve uh, basically it's a uh, uh, basic boutique and to add to that we also print shirts we are a sports house we sell sports wear sports items and we print t-shirts we also sell books we are, we are on, on clothes we have both new and and thrifted clothes that's what we basically sell how did you raise the capital <laughs> the capital from for my business yeah okay i think uh, the idea first came in 2020 yeah. when we were at home during this covid thing yeah and uh, when i i started thinking of what i i could do I, I first started with with some farming i started keeping some poultry chicken yeah. i started small yeah. And uh, from there, I started a business, uh, a boutique in my hometown in Nyeri, Karatina town. Then from there, by small, small monies and saving, I've been able to raise capital enough for this business. Yeah. What about, um, the name is Drip Hub. The Drip, okay. How did you come up with the name? Okay. Yeah. What motivated the name? Things like that. Nothing actually motivated. It's just an idea that came to my mind when I was at at home when I was starting my first business. Yeah. I thought, what will I, uh, what name will I use to create interests for the people my age first of all, yeah. and in an environment that is diverse. So I thought of the drip. Of, it's actually the very first name I thought of, and Ikakwa Ivoto. Hello, good evening. My name is Ben Kanji. Maybe you can tell us your name and uh, who you are. Thank you. Okay, my name is Njoki Kihara. I'm a business person here at Moi University stage. Uh, my business is located in between an farm chain agrovet and bike spares. I deal with clothes, men wears, lady wears, mostly for the youths. Yeah. Good evening. My name is Felix Ochieng. I'm a fourth year student. Yeah, here in Moi University. What business do you do? So I do cyber. I, I run a cyber here. It's called Pepper Tech Solution. So we print assignments and uh, we deliver. Okay. I understand that you don't pay for the for the business premises or something like that just like other people owning business outside but how did you raise your capital okay 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 the capital that uh, i started this business okay to run run a cyber at least you need some cash to start up you need to buy a computer you need the printers and some other accessories that uh, you use in the cyber so for myself i use uh, i use the help money that i got when i was in second year yeah it was the help and a bit of the pocket money that my parents used to send to me. I saved a bit, I didn't spend all. So uh, those are the sources of my capital to start this cyber business. We are at the Obra restaurant and sir, if you don't mind, could you kindly tell us about yourself? Okay, I'm Alfred Obara, the owner of Obra restaurant. Yeah, and a former student of Moi University. I was pursuing Bachelor of Arts in Kiswahili. When did you graduate? Okay, I graduated last year, that is in 20, 2021, yeah, December. Okay, and if you could tell us, how did you raise the capital so as to start your restaurant? Okay, when I was in second year, okay, second year, I think, second year, second semester, I started freelancing job, like doing online editing, online writing, or writing, that is. So with that, I used to save the money that I raised, and to when when it was on 2021, the money was enough to start this business. So where is Obra Restaurant located? Okay, it is located near to my shop, opposite Diamond Residential. That's where you'll find us. If someone walks into a restaurant, what kind of dishes do they expect to find? Mm. Okay, you must cooperate with time because we usually open at 8, 8 a.m. Then closing hours, it depends with the workflow. Sometimes we may close early as 10, but sometimes they will have to stay till 12. Yeah. 
Good afternoon, my name is Muffin. I'm a business lady. My business is located at Moi University stage. I sell men's and ladies' clothes. Mm, yeah, yeah, majorly that's what I do. Yeah. Yes. Okay, when did you start your business? For how long have you? Okay, I started my business in 2021. So I have been running it for like a year and a half now. Yes. Okay, so, so it's a. Yeah, yeah. Okay. One and a half years, I've made some progress. Okay, wow. What's the location of your business? The location. Okay, it's located here in stage on your way to the petrol station. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what is the name of your business? My, the name of my business is Kerry. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called Kerry because that is the name of my daughter. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So that is the, that you, you named it Kerry because... Yeah, because of my daughter. Ah, okay, wow. Yeah. Business is never really the main goal of these young entrepreneurs. But the big question is, what pushes them to start the business? What really is the reason behind these ventures? Okay. What is your motivation behind your business? Okay. <clears throat> My motivation first is financial independence. Yeah. You kuwa na pesa yako. It's not like having your parents' money and you nafaa kuitisha. Yeah. Then there's also challenges from who za kuitisha pesa. So you napata lazima you need some extra cash na hauna so you need to find a way of earning it. Hey. What is the motivation behind Photomoto? Okay, my motivating factor number one mm -hmm. was that I was passionate about photography since when I was a student. Yes. So after school, I realized it could help me earn a living. So I started the studio and up to today, I'm running the studio. So when you were in school, did you, were you doing the business? Okay, I used to do, but I was a freelancer. Okay. So I used to do outdoor photography events and um, maybe indoor from my house. Motiv what is the motivation behind your business? Uh, motivation, I think a lot of forces have come uh, to motivate me. Yeah. Uh, starting from my parents, because I come from a very humble background. And my mom used to sell clothes, so building from what I, s I saw her do, I've, I've been able to start my business as well. Uh, again, uh, other forces from my people I relate with, my friends, and also from myself, and the urge of always doing something and getting better at it. Yeah. Okay, you've said you come from a humble background. Yeah. How did you raise the capital? <laughs> the capital from the, for my business. Yeah. Okay, I think uh, the idea first came in 2020 yeah. when we were at home during this COVID thing. Yeah. And uh, when I, I started thinking of what I, I could do, I, I first started with, with some farming. I started keeping some poultry, chicken. Yeah. I started small. Yeah. And uh, from there, I started a business, a, a boutique in my hometown in Nyeri, Karatina town. Then from there, by small, small monies and saving, I've been able to raise capital enough for this business. Yeah. Okay, thank you, uh, Njoki. Uh, maybe if you can tell us, what is mainly the motivation behind your business in Moi University? Okay, what I can say about my motivation, mm -hmm. it's all about... I need to make some money. Okay. So basically, kitu ambacho ambacho maybe kina kuleta apa kila subuhi ni pesa, sindio? Yeah. Okay. What is the motivation behind your business? Okay, when I was starting this business, uh, actually it had been a passion to own a cyber, uh, at least to help people who had problems in the internet, to print the assignments and such like stuff. But another thing, we all have to chase the bug in quotes so we all have to get some money for ourselves so financial independence is so important 
So those are some of the reasons uh, I started this business. So what is the motivating factor behind your business? Like what drives you to come to your business every day? Okay, basically to all businessmen it is to make profit and to be self-employed and maybe to accomplish something that you've, you've started. Yeah. If I could ask what is the motivation behind your business? Why do you, why do you just wake up in the morning and come to your business? Okay, I wake up because I want to make money. I want to be an independent woman. And then right now the economy is so hard, so you cannot depend on anyone. You have to work and make something for yourself. So majorly that's why I wake up every morning and come to work. So that is the main motivation behind you? Yes, yes, yes. In the world of business, it's all about taking calculative risks. There are already similar businesses in the area, but the entrepreneurs has to look for ways to stand out to retain customers or attract them. The need for self-sustainability pushes students to even conduct business in their small rooms as they can't afford to strain space outside. And can you tell us about the market in Mo University? I'm very sure you can relate since your your mom is also a business person. Yeah. So can you tell us about the business in Mo University? Oh, business in Mo University. Yeah. Uh, it's not bad and it's challenging you as well. Yeah. And mm, talking about here, yeah. kuna sio kama kule kwetu nyumbani. Yeah. There are a lot of people from different places. People with different wants and very diverse uh, uh, tastes for clothes, and people want variety. Yes. Uh, it's not easy to to content everyone, but so far so good. Yeah. So, can you tell us about the challenges you face around this place? Okay. First of all, is is that about time and dedicating a lot of time for the business. Mm -hmm. It's not easy because I have a lot to do. Yeah. I can even go for two weeks. I'm, I've not been seen at the shop. It's not easy. Secondly, I think uh, managing to create the balance between uh, work, business and and school. Kama Saizi, you've looked for me since yesterday. I was not here. I was in attachment. I had to again come from attachment earlier today and be here. Yeah. The, the kind of challenges I face, the main ones. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, pursuing a course doesn't necessarily mean you'll take it up as a career. After graduation, one is let into the world where family members rely on you. However, this dream is cut short by lack of experience, one of the requirements by organization. This doesn't make the bills go away. The need to be your own boss and have an income forces the graduates to remain at the university and establish a small business. What is the, how, looking at the market, how could you say your business is in terms of pro profitability? Mm -hmm. Okay, it was challenging at first because, you know, that is, the, is, an, is an obvious thing when you start a business. But with time, I think um, it is good. We just thank God on that. And in terms of, of profit and loss, okay, there is profit. There is, we can say, okay, too bad sometimes we can make loss, but it is understandable. But we'll just focus on the positive side. It, we are doing well, and I, I'm comfortable on that. Okay, aside from the challenging, the challenging factor on starting your business at the beginning and the loss and the losses that you that you've mentioned, are there any other challenges that you have faced? Yeah. Maybe, like okay you will okay sometimes the you will, okay currently i have the best supportive staff mm -hmm. but previously maybe i had some challenges with my staff i don't know i was new in this business environment mm -hmm. so there are some challenges yeah okay considering where i am located the main challenge is um, competition there are a lot of people here selling clothes you know both mtumba and the shop ones so competition is high of course and another one my business is small it has not grown that much because i've been running running it for like a year so i still need to invest more yeah capital is a challenge i don't have enough capital yes and then 
then the fashion, fashion trends, you know, we are, we are operating in an era of digital technology. So you have to be updated, things that are latest. So, and we are dealing with the students, of course, you know, they see these things online, they want to copy, so you have to be current, update your fashion. Yeah. Can you tell us about the market in Moi? right now and if you can compare the, the market back then and right now okay things have changed okay uh, for sure back then most most of the businesses you can say around were not yet established yeah so there is a lot of people getting to the business i don't know why and competition is really steep yeah mm, yeah so there are changes Actually, my next question was about challenges. So how do you maneuver the challenges? Yes, they are there. How do you deal with them? Okay, um, photography is an art. So yeah. competition is not really something that will chip in because there are people who love how I do my work. Yeah. Others will love how someone else does their work. So in that way, I just try to be creative and stand out. Yeah. Yeah, that's all. How can you describe the market in, in Mo University? Personally, I've never worked or done a business outside Mo University. But from experience, I can tell that there are some challenges that we at Mo University experience and some other people don't. Yeah. For example, when a strike comes, student strikes or lecturer strike, yeah. we do close business totally. Mm -hmm. But you see the other guys in town or other places, yeah. they're just operating their businesses. Yeah. yeah. As the saying goes, education is the key to success. The students have to look for ways to still attend classes and keep their businesses afloat. They've had to rely on close friends or employ somebody to run it on their behalf. If you could tell us how you balance education and business. As I stated earlier, we do business with Ankona Murembo Patrovaya Biashara Nae. She's called Shiro. So most of the times Nikua class, she's not having a class and when she has classes, missing a class here. So we do exchange. Oh. Yeah. Okay. You said you are fifth year student. Yeah. How do you how do you move around education and your business? Uh, to be very honest, it's it's not easy. Yeah. And and creating the balance has not been easy but I've been let's say successful yeah. in terms of first of all be, being able to be at the shop and and secondly being able to be in class it's not easy but i've been able to manage and uh, what i do is is create time for everything however much small time you create for everything i have some few hours at the shop few hours in class and trying to and creating the balance. See your eyes, lakini. And then again, I have to use help from other people who will go and buy items for me. Who will come again? I have a, a, a my shopkeeper. Yeah. She helps me a lot. Please tell us what course you are pursuing and how you juggle education and your business. So currently, I'm um, pursuing a bachelor of engineering. Uh, in electrical and electronics engineering yeah just as i said um a fourth year student outgoing uh, come september i'll be in fifth year so it's just about balancing between academics and uh, and business so you don't uh, be on one side <coughs> uh, for a very long time you just have to balance your time and uh, managing business and class uh, actually it's, it's very hard yeah, I can testify that it's very hard, of which uh, sometimes you have to wake up very early to finish up some work that you had to do, and sometimes you you have to miss some things, maybe some businesses you miss them because you are in class, maybe you have exams, right? Yeah, so it has been just uh, a journey of balancing, sometimes you miss, sometimes you get them, but uh, during holidays when there's, there are jobs, when there are no classes, I think it's always good, but it's just uh, about balancing.
Could you advise any student to start a restaurant business just like yours? Mm, okay, if that is his or her dream, then I answer too because kama lakini asende kama a copy smela. So kama kuna hiyo dream ya kwanza restaurant na najua ta manage thumbs up na yendele. And kindly sir, if you could tell us why did you choose to do this business and not focus on the career that is in relation to the course you had pursued? <laughs> okay, the truth is that it is very challenging to get work in Kenya and you should always have a second option. Okay, if now I can be, I can be offered a, a good job, I'll still go there and leave someone to manage here, but I'll not stay at home making goja like to be employed. I must, I must be, I must sustain myself first. Then you, I wait for what the future will hold. Okay, and what is your parting shot? What would you like to tell our viewers? Mm, about what? About what advice would you give the students out there in matters business? Yes. Okay, the advice that, that I'll give the students, they should move away from comfort zone and they should just be creative. Wasi tegeme tu masomo. Okay, masomo ni kila kitu but it is not it is not the key to prosperity or what. You should try ataka utapata your 500 shillings per day. It is better than have na having nothing, but they still hope in Kenyan job market na kazi but wasitegeme kazi sana. Yeah. Okay, so we thank you for your time and our viewers, thank you for watching this segment. Um what advice can you give to somebody that is looking to start a business? You said you got the money from the help, yes. but what other, um, what advice can you give to somebody looking to start a business? Okay. <coughs> what, can, what I can advise someone to do is just to start with as little as you have. Because yeah. if you expect maybe I have my own salary, Nianzie. Maybe that could be a challenge. Now maybe in Baga size in the economy, yeah. Yeah. So from as little as you have, yeah. you can start something, and with the time, it can grow. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's it for today. Thank you for having us, by the way. Okay. Welcome very much. Can you recommend somebody from outside to start a similar business here? Someone from outside. Yeah. Yes, I would. I would. And the same as here. Yeah. Same everything. Yeah, the same. Uh, <laughs> and and help her. I think that's yours. <laughs> yes, in the competition. I'm talking in competition. I'm talking in competition. I'm talking Okay. Thank you for having us. Okay. Thank you so much for the opportunity and thank you for so much for what you're doing and I wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Sante. These success stories speak to us that while studying, one can still start and manage businesses and that lack of a job doesn't warrant one to just sit at home and give up. Passion is the fuel towards a successful business. So, follow it.